This is pre-calculus topic nine, and we are working on that practice assessment. We're supposed to sketch a graph, label the center vertices and foci. So let's make sure we got all these things in here. We're going to take a look at this one. Um, I noticed this is secant and tangent. So this is going to be a hyperbola because I know that secant squared minus tangent squared is one. And uh, knowing that, since secant is associated with x, this would be x squared minus y squared. So this should go in the in the x direction. All right. So let's read that center right off of there. My center is here at negative 11, 9 here in my arbitrary spot. It uh, looks like I have an offset of 24 in the x direction. So uh, 24, I'm just going to say it would be about here since I can scale it how I want. Um, if I were to add 24 to this, to 11, that would give me a 13. So 13, 9. Notice the height didn't change, so the y stays the same. And when I'm doing hyperbolas, uh, sketching them, I like to put this label on the inside because the foci is going to be outside of the points, whichever direction it goes. All right, if I go back 24 from negative 11, that'd be negative 11 minus 24. Uh, I'm back here at negative 35. And same height, 9. And uh, since it's going in the x direction, these are the vertices. Um, y, I'm offset by 7. So I would go up, let's see, if that's 24, 7's probably there-ish. Um, and I could label these. I don't need to. They're not technically vertices. But I do want to get them in a about the right spot so I get a decent sketch of this thing. And so remember that uh, with hyperbolas, I need those. Uh, I need these asymptotes. So it's going to be boxed in by those asymptotes, and um, do, do looks like a negative eleven. I'm just going to erase that so I can show that it's eleven. And now I need to know I've got center, I've got vertices. And now I want to get the foci, which will be out here in the direction that the uh, hyperbola is going. And so I know that c squared is a squared plus b squared. So uh, one of these is 24. So this would be a 576. Uh, that would be a 49. And if I add those together, I get 625. So c is 25. So that distance would be 25. So if I go 25 in this direction, 25 in this direction, puts me out here at 14, 9, and then put me back here at negative 36, 9. There she blows.